And joining us right now is the executive director of the Aurora Sock Club, Jimmy Brennan. Jimmy, first of all, congratulations. I haven't had the chance to congratulate you since you retired and you went into coaching with TFC and now with your Aurora. Congratulations. Talk about that role and what it has meant to you to be with a real strong youth club in Ontario. Uh, you know, I'm really enjoying it right now. Um, getting back into grassroots and uh, helping develop the, the young kids and, and working with these these great guys. We have a fantastic technical staff. Uh, you know, we're the technical director of David DePlacido and and the two Marcos, and uh, we have a number of guys that are involved with the club, ex-players that have played and coach and licensing. So it's, it's great to be in that environment, and it's great to give back, and it's great to help the, the youth and, uh, and try to create a pathway for them to get to university or professional or even just stay involved in the game at some capacity. What are some of the big stumbling blocks that you faced early on in this new role? Do you know what? To be honest with you, I, there, were, there was no stumbling blocks. Um, you know, we, we've got a, a, a great board who are forward-thinking, um, that uh, that let the the coaching staff and and the, f the football technical staff get on with their jobs and 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 help develop these these youth. So we've got great business minds on the board and and we've got great uh, technical staff. Um, so we've got a really good balance with our organization. I think that's key. Um, there's no egos involved in our organization, and uh, you know at the moment we we're, we're driving forward and we're, we're creating a, a fantastic environment here in Aurora. In a professional environment at that because you're paying coaches which is important a lot of times volunteers do great jobs but it's important i believe to pay people what they're warranted yeah i, I agree with that you know you, you pay for the value and uh you know we, we pay our technical staff at the club and um you know the soccer minds they get it they've been involved in the game for a number of years at, at, at different levels and uh they're, they're doing a terrific job and the, the one thing is we we've got a lot of young guys that are involved with the club and uh our, our youth seem to uh, to be bonding with them, to uh, to to really be be working with them, and um, you know we we're very fortunate what we have at uh, the Aurora Youth Soccer Club. Special day here, the third annual golf tournament for the Hall of Fame. Special for you as well. Let's talk about the emotions. Let's talk about the day here, and we thank you for bringing two guys with your club as well. Yeah, we we actually had third. Um, Dave Dave DePlacido, he had a, he had a couple of issues that he he couldn't be here today. But you know, it's uh, it's an honor for for myself to be inducted into the Hall of Fame this year, which is uh, it's great. And I was fortunate enough to be a part of that 2000 uh, Gold Cup team, and we got inducted uh, not too long ago last year. It was, but um, you know, for myself, it's great to be recognized for the hard work that you've put in over the years. And uh, um, you know, I, I've got to give credit to the the CSA, Ron Smale, and everybody that's put these organizations together to. Uh, to, to acknowledge the hard work that, uh, that the players have, have gone through. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's great to be a part of. So anything that we, c we can do and we can be a part of and, and help donate for, for, the, for the years to come and the, the athletes over the years that are going to be a part of this Hall of Fame, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing my role right now and uh, I'm excited for it. Outstanding. Marco, Marco, just before we let you go, quick question, the same one to both of you. Sure. When one day, 30 years from now, a player comes up to you that you coach, what do you want to hear come out of their mouth? What would be so rewarding for you and as well for you? Uh, first thing, if, uh, if they could play for the national team and, and they make it through, you know, the ranks of the youth system and, you know, sign a pro contract or get a scholarship for me, that's, that's a goal and that's a big achievement for me. If, if that happens, yeah. Marco, what about you? Because I know a lot of uh, coaches, ex-coaches, like to see their kids at a mall or a coffee shop, and, and they just like to be remembered and, and a smile and say thank you. What do you want to remember? Pretty much the same thing. You know, with me, um, primarily it's, it's, it's what they're going to do after the game, whether it's scholarship, uh, playing at a professional level, um, you know, TFC. Um, you know, we want, we want to see them kind of being, being involved in the game, uh, coaching, playing, uh, et cetera. So... Um, you know, we just kind of being, being involved in the game overall. Well said, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the third annual golf tournament. Jimmy, congratulations again. Put Aurora on the map. A lot of people want to see players go through that club. It's been around a number of years. Congratulations again. Thank you very much.